Here is Richard Garriot, a Texas millionaire who made his fortune in video games, and he is one of the first space tourists. What was the trip like? We head to the city of space, where Oliver Sangui will tell us all about this incredible adventure. So, for the seven space tourists, the seven who went into orbit around the Earth, they all went to the International Space Station using the Russian Soyuz ship that you see behind me. Why? Because only the Russians are selling seats for tourists to board their ship. To travel to the International Space Station, it's not enough to buy your ticket. You must also prepare. Going into space, we talk about space tourism, but it's more an expedition than tourism. They must follow a very similar training to that of professional astronauts. In particular, they must know all the security procedures. And since they're leaving on a Russian ship, they must learn to speak Russian. Most of the space tourists joke that the hardest thing to do is learn Russian. A journey into space, therefore, is not rest and relaxation. And you'll see that it's not very comfortable either. Let's first look at the habitable Soyuz module, the Russian spacecraft that takes you to the space station. This is the one that we see in the movie Gravity. So you see, we're in the Russian Soyuz, the only ship that transported the seven space tourists up to now. So we're in a fetal position. Why? Because this is the best position to best withstand the acceleration during takeoff. When we take off, we weigh three to four times our weight, that's to say three to four G. This compartment is very small. We must travel two days under these conditions. So this is not at all like traveling first class, not even business class, and I think it's worse than economy class. But then if we are not in a five-star hotel, why does this trip cost 30 million euros? Sebastien Rouquet, an engineer, has the answer. Space flight is very expensive because it's difficult. When we move along the surface of the Earth, we move, we fly, but it does not require much energy. But as soon as you want to break through the Earth's gravitational field, you need a lot of energy. 